indigenous peoples are in so many places in the world the custodians of forests. They are the best stewards of the forest that we have. That is shown by research from all over the world and therefore we also need to and want to work with indigenous peoples. Indigenous people consists of about 6% of the world's population, which is close to 500 million people. And they are living on about 25% of the surface of the world. They have been living in those areas for a time immemorial, and they have created a stewardship on how to, to take care of the nature. The correlation between the health of the land, I'm going to put it that way, and where indigenous peoples live, it's no coincidence. It's because there is a, a connection and understanding in indigenous knowledge systems to natural law. Natural law has consequences and has predictable outcomes. And we can uh, try and dance around natural law, but it won't work. We can try to cheat the system, but we're gonna pay. And, we're, and worse than that, our children are gonna pay. We already know that indigenous peoples are tied to forests for their well-being, but not only indigenous peoples, we all are. And we also know that they live, as Mauricio said, in the most diverse areas of, of the planet and recognize the importance and the important value of the customary uh, practices to protect the forest. Um, and definitely they are part of the solutions. Without that knowledge and without applying that knowledge, um, we cannot advance. We strongly believe that we are the face of the forest because forest doesn't belong to us, we belong to the forest. That is our approach, that is our difference, and that is our principles and wisdom. This is a quote from a, a workshop that we held in, uh, in Cameroon. Our land is taken from us without our consent, without consultation. And then you ask us to tell you which bits of it matter to us? Think about it as if it were your own body. Which part of your body is a high conservation value? Would you not say all of your body was? Now think about it. If I wring off your arm, singe your hair, cut off your fingers, gouge out your eyes, and then ask you, which part of your damaged body is a high conservation value? Would you not still say that it was all of great value to you, even if most of it has been destroyed. So it goes for our land and our rights. Indigenous peoples are very often poor and they have very little resources, so they need support, they need training, they need the ability to be able to work with the world around them. And they have a different perspective on the world from what we have. FSC comes from a Western tradition or forestry tradition, which is much more modern and doesn't necessarily understand the needs and the livelihoods of indigenous peoples. And there is a way to go between these perspectives. We are taking several different initiatives to work with indigenous peoples. We've had the Permanent Indigenous Peoples Committee soon for 10 years, which advises the board on issues that are important for indigenous peoples. We've now created an institution, the FSC Indigenous Foundation in Panama, who partly support the PIPC permanent indigenous peoples committee but also have a big mandate in terms of engaging with indigenous peoples organizations to work with them to make their voices heard around the world and then we have our own rules we have free prior informed consent guidelines which are extremely important and are being rolled out at the moment we all talk of uh, sustainable uh, and the wise use of natural resources for present and future generations. And we see uh, FSC being uh, a room for us to exchange our wisdoms, our views, our focus, and our plans. We need to turn the question round. How can respecting these rights also solve other existential societal problems like the crisis of climate biodiversity and human welfare. So we tend to, as FSC, to talk about how do we deal with climate? How do we deal with conservation? How do we allow just development? But it's, we need to turn it round. I would say that my number one recommendation for FSC to improve the system, to continue the good work that it does, would be to engage Indigenous people on the ground. 
And in different parts of the world, this could mean different things. For example, in Canada, we have a program, a national program that's in development called the Indigenous Guardian Program. And I think it's the best way to understand what people are seeing, feeling, and understanding what the impacts of forestry are in their territories. If I had to choose another recommendation out of the top five that I have, I would say look at what communities are already investing in themselves. I think the interests of Indigenous peoples follow a broad spectrum that includes forestry, but it might also include other conservation initiatives, other kinds of development activities. So invest your solution-based discussions in what communities themselves have already prioritized, whether that could be protected areas, it could be development of businesses, Indigenous-led businesses, and it could also be just a, a hybrid, a combination of both. Well, we know that Indigenous peoples are, are good stewards of our natural resources. Um, indigenous peoples sit on a good deal of the land, um, and which is very important for, for biodiversity, conservation, for stewardship objectives. And so therefore, for that sectoral aim, as well as from a human rights perspective, it's very important to partner with Indigenous peoples. In, in a responsible forestry, if you would like to be certified, it's mandatory for you to apply those principles and apply the rights of Indigenous people. And that's unique. That also gives an opportunity for the certified companies to do something good. So to be a part of FSC, it's enriching in both ways. It helps guarding and, and protecting rights, but it also helps uh, the people outside the Indigenous world to be enriched by the culture and by the knowledge coming from, from the, the Indigenous world. Through the institutions we've created inside FSC, the Permanent Indigenous Peoples Committee, the FSC Indigenous Foundation, I think we have a great basis for getting to understand their needs better and to work together with them to actually get them met in reality. And I think we have enormous potential for actually getting to a completely new level inside the next couple of years. Thank you.